this will be the next project. I need to run some boarding that will make this to where it's capable of being shoveled. And then I'm going to start running chicken wire. And then at some point I have to get in a nesting box set up somewhere on this end. But you're gonna have to chicken wire it pretty much all the way up and across. all the way down so that we can deter predators and such. But first things first, I gotta sweep this up and I, for the life of me, don't remember who or why that chair was brought in here. But I gotta get all this cleaned up and cleaned out so that I can actually Start trying to get some boards in here to try and level this a little bit. I'm not sad, I'm not aiming for anything spectacular, just enough to where we can shovel it out. Okay. I'll give a touch of a backstory real quick. In Akron, we were only allowed to have so many square foot of in-ground garden. So, the loophole in that was actually raised beds. Courtesy of my brother-in-law, we have quite a few sheets of particle board. They've been weather-coated. So, I'm going to wind up using those for the flooring in here wanted to get a sizing on it and make sure that I was right. And I'm only using that because I don't actually have access to particle board at the moment. Not the most ideal thing, but it'll give a smoother surface for us to work off of, especially when it comes down to shoveling everything out of here. Now there is some particle or some plywood already on the floor. So I'm just going to raise everything up to match it, secure everything down, get that as squared out as I can possibly get it.
Okay, so still got a few more areas where I'm gonna have to cut some boards, but for the most part, trying to make this as solid as possible because this was already plywood just pretty much matching everything to it but I gotta get here section right there obviously that section and then work myself back into this area Somebody's already walked through here with dirty boots. Alright. Good morning, everybody. We are all so overjoyed today because Mom has made a task of getting this garden cleaned out the biggest priority on our list. And nobody wants to do it. So we are going to be digging potatoes getting out any ripe fruit that is in here. We do have a couple of squash, one giant zucchini, some tomatoes. We'll see what else we come across. But that's what we're working on this morning. Everybody's out here. We're all gonna work together and hopefully we can knock it out pretty quickly today and they can get onto the tasks that they actually want to do. We'll check in with you later. See the little mantis down in there? So we got the potatoes dug. We have a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes and green beans and a couple of my big tomatoes. There were a whole lot of green cherry tomatoes still, probably a few hundred, but like I said, this whole bed went wild, so that just keep growing and keep growing and keep growing, so they are just all over the place, just green cherry tomatoes, and we are just going to till them in, <coughs> excuse me, we are just going to break them out, throw them in the compost, because this bed needs to get turned over and get ready for garlic. So that is where we are at for now. We will check in with you guys later. We are getting ready to change out the water and scrub out the tub that the dogs and cats drink out of outside. So before we change it, we're going to let Mandel go for a swim. Go ahead and put it on. Thought you guys might want to see it.
check in with you guys later. Alright everybody, Mike and Seth got this all weed whacked and raked out today. So the garden is officially down as we enter fall. The next step will be obviously to get everything tilled in really good. And then getting the beds ready to plant garlic here in a couple in about three weeks is when it'll be time to plant garlic here. We do still have Mr. Brown's pumpkin patch. We have a lot of very large pumpkins in here. I think we counted nine today. But I don't know how much you guys can see of those over there. There's one hiding. So we got quite a few pumpkins in there, and they are very big pumpkins. This one's out here on the edge, but they're big. So we're having cabbage and noodles for dinner tonight. You guys saw what we got out of the garden today, but I just want to get on and say goodnight to everybody, and we will catch you guys tomorrow.